Heart to Art, a reading and art summer program with Miss Mora. A partnership with the Field Library. Hi, all my friends from the Field Library. My name is Miss Mora, and I hope you enjoy the craft that I'm going to make with you today. If you missed the story I shared on Monday, you can go back and watch that video first and then come back and make the craft. Before you use any materials, make sure that you ask an adult if it's okay. And hopefully you have somebody that can help you out if you need any help. Okay, I hope you guys have fun and enjoy. Thanks. On Monday, we read A Sick Day for Amos McGee, written by Philip C. Stead, illustrated by Aaron E. Stead. Today, we will be creating our own postcards that we can send to somebody special. These are some of the supplies you will need to create your postcard. You will need a white piece of paper. You will also need a colored piece of paper. Any color is fine. I will be using paint to decorate my postcard, but you can also use markers or crayons or colored pencils. You will need a pair of scissors. Make sure you ask an adult before you use scissors. You will need a marker and a pencil. If you can find some glue, this type of glue or a glue stick will work fine. You will need something to make straight lines. You could use a ruler or a book. These are the steps to make your postcard. First, you will decorate your piece of white paper. You can decorate it with paint or crayons or markers, and you can make any design that you want. If you wanna make one postcard, you can just color half the piece of paper. And then if you wanna make two postcards, you can color the full piece of paper, and then we'll be cutting it in half. I decided to make one postcard, so I just painted half of the paper. I decided to make a sunset because I think they're very beautiful. Okay, so now that we have that painted, I'm going to use this book to trace it on top of this because this is the size that I want to make my postcard. So I'm going to trace it around with either a pencil or a marker or whatever you want to use. Now that I traced the rectangle shape, I'm going to cut it out. I want the back of my postcard to be purple, so I put this on a purple piece of paper and then I traced it with a pencil and now I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to glue this piece to the back of this. We have the front of the postcard and we have the back of the postcard. I glued the purple piece of paper on the back of the painting. The last thing we need to do for our postcard is make some lines. So down about the middle of the paper, we're going to make one line down the middle because on this side it's going to be your message and on this side is going to be the person's address. Well, it's their name, their address, and then this is where you have to put a stamp if you're going to put it in the mail. So you could use a ruler to trace these lines, but I personally just use this book. The same book we used to make the postcard shape is what I used to make the line. So I just put it down and traced it. And then do the same for these lines. And for the square, I kind of just freehanded it, but it doesn't really matter because the stamp is going to go on top of it anyways. Now you can write your message in the space on the left and the name and address on the lines to the right. And don't forget, if you're going to send it in the mail, make sure that you get a stamp. I sent my postcard to my mom and she has it on her fridge. It's so important to let people know that we care about them and we're thinking of them. When the person gets your postcard in the mail, they will be so happy and they will feel so special that you created this for them. 
Remember, small acts of kindness can make a big difference in our world.